hello friends welcome back to cat cam station and today in this video tutorial i'm going to show you that how you can use a constant z operation on this simple job so i'm going to show you how to create the block and uh, how to create a coordinate system how to create the tool path and how to simulate it so without wasting any time let's get started so the first thing is as you can see we had this job to do or to work with so the first thing is to create the block under the block select global and calculate and accept so it will create this now under the work i'm going to create a region on this corner because the stock is big bigger than the actual job so I'm gonna use the swap technique to swap the origin quick uh, quick way in a quick way as you can see so double click to activate and again click the block select the activate and then calculate and accept now your origin and the block is done but I'm gonna adjust the block um, dimension as per my um, real job on the machine because the stock in real is bigger than the job in software as you can see here so i'm gonna extend the uh, uh, length in x direction because i want to uh, perform constant z operation in x direction not in the y direction the reason is I have made an arrangement of clamp in the y direction and uh, I do not want the tool to collide with the clamp system I have made in the y direction so only in the x direction I want to operate so that is why I am uh, adjusting the block under the block section so this is how I want it to be so everything is perfect now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the constant Z finishing operation and click OK so on the next pop-up window the first thing that you need to do is to uh, enter the name enter the name for your uh, operation it could be anything it will not bring any effect on your operation it is just a name and uh, on the under the tool section you need to enter the tool name again it doesn't make any difference enter the diameter and the length of the tool it will automatically calculate once you enter the diameter but you can uh, change the length as per your requirement under the limit I'm gonna create the um, limit so selecting this I'm gonna select the rectangle and create a rectangle around this job and click OK accept and make it outside everything is perfect now again one more thing I need to enter the uh, thickness or up to which I want to uh, do the constant set operation so here it is enter the negative value and uh, under the constant set operation I'm going to use any direction because I want the cutting operation on um, from both the directions so the tool will not lift until it is done on one side okay so calculate it you can leave the value as it is if you are uh, not using clamps but I'm using clamps in the y direction so I'm using the uh, height of ramp or clearance is 50 so the tool after uh, finishing uh, from the one side it will uh, lift from uh, its uh, cutting position to the clearance zone up to 50 so that it will not collide with the clamp I have calculated or I have measured the value with the vernier caliper so I'm using this so under the as you can see under the leads in and lead out I'm using extend feature you can change the lead in and lead out as per your requirement I'm using uh, on surface skim safe feature uh, which in turns helps in uh, uh, in 
achieving my goal that it will not collide with the clan the main reason is this so enter all the parameters as per the uh, material density or you can say the property of the material if it is uh, hard or if it is uh, soft use the parameters accordingly so after entering all the parameters just click calculate and your tool part is right there as you can see after finishing from the one side it will lift 50 millimeters above and change its position to the other side along the x-axis and done the job so I hope you guys uh, found this video tutorial very helpful so as you can see I'm gonna create the simulation like this so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you like the video please consider hit the like button and subscribe my channel to see all the videos from my channel see you in the next video bye bye